What is up, degenerates? Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm so hyped right now. I got it in the mail. I got it in the mail. Okay, so I'll give you a little backstory. All right. So when I was a little boy, right, there was one thing I loved most in this world, and that was Doctor Who. That was like my fucking childhood. All right. I grew up watching Matt Smith, so he's my favorite doctor. Like, hey man, I'm not gay, but Matty boy, if you and your chiseled jawline want to show up and uh, <laughs> not gay, okay. socks on, right? Huh? No, don't make it gay! So the majority of people I talk to, like, they prefer David Tennant's doctor over Matt Smith, which I understand, like, I went back and I watched David Tennant, and he's a good doctor, but Matt Smith, for me, like, he was, like, the first doctor I, I started watching. His seasons are just the most nostalgic for me, so I'll, I'll look back at those and I'll be like, damn. So when I was about, like, 11 years old, maybe 10 years old, I still, like, I binge watched that show, like, I loved that show. Right? And, and one of the things that he used the most in that show, it was called a sonic screwdriver. So if you don't watch Doctor Who, you probably don't know what it is, but it basically like unlocks locks and shit and like it can do different things. So it's cool, it's useful for him in the show. So when I was a kid, a big toy, like a... <laughs> Ew. You should choose your words more carefully. So when I was a kid, a really popular toy at the time for Doctor Who was like these props of his sonic screwdriver. And I remember um, they didn't sell those in North America because I live in Canada. So we bought a used one on eBay and it had to, we had to wait like three months for shipping or something. So I waited such a long time for it to get, and we had to ship it to the States because this was like 2011 or like 2012 or some shit. And I, so I waited a long time just to get my sonic screwdriver. So it looks like this. And to everyone who doesn't watch the show, I always get told that it looks like a fucking a dildo so just and you know what it does have that extension so it would be a pretty painful dildo if i'm being honest just give it a little flick okay i need to chill the fuck out anyways so i loved that thing right and uh, so much so that when halloween hit in like grade six or seven i showed up to school and i was the biggest fucking unit you could ever like look look at me look at me look at how big of a fucking unit i was <laughs> I had my sonic screwdriver, I had my bow tie and shit. Yeah, nah, like, come on. <laughs> because I don't live in the UK and it's not as popular over here, like, the majority of my class back then had no fucking idea who I was for Halloween. They were all like, what the fuck are you? <laughs> I still thought it was cool, and I went, and yeah. But you see, here's where the story takes a dark fucking turn, okay? I showed up with my prop, and it was so cool, I'd flick it, I'd be like, you know? And then my friend, Christian, motherfucker, <laughs> He's like, oh, hey, I know what Doctor Who is. That's so cool. Can I, can I take a look at it? And I was like, yeah, sure. I give it to him for like two seconds and he fucking drops it. And I don't know what he did because I dropped it a couple times because like I, because I would do this thing that he does on the show where you like throw it up and then you, you try and catch it. Um, but I guess he did that, but like really aggressively because when he did it, it fucking just broke. I left him alone with my sonic screwdriver for two fucking seconds. And I, I looked back and that motherfucker, I waited so long and he broke it. I'm fucking infuriated. Still, Christian, fuck you. <laughs> uh, oh god, that is like the whitest fucking thing you could ever be mad about. But, yeah, okay. And you broke my sonic screwdriver, huh? How fucking dare <laughs> So now for the whole reason I'm making this video, okay? So years later, right? I've had this broken sonic screwdriver. Doesn't work. I tried to fix it, but it just, the wiring got all fucked up when he dropped it. So, like, I, I couldn't fix the light. So I was like, fuck. So because I started rewatching it, I was like, damn, you know what? I'm gonna buy a new sonic screwdriver for nostalgic reasons. Don't fucking judge me, I swear to God. <laughs> I thought if I was gonna import something from the UK again, I would wanna get like my money's worth. I wouldn't just want like a plastic fucking thing because that one broke in like, I think three, three or four months, right, of having it. So anyways, I start looking for like a more sturdy kind of sonic screwdriver that I could find, right? One that's more girth, no. <laughs> And I noticed that there was this one prop sonic screwdriver and it was a universal remote So it actually had a function like you could use it for stuff and I was like shit dude It was fucking sick the kid inside of me is starting to like explode. Okay, that is I'm gonna rephrase that <laughs> So I went to the official company site that like makes these universal remotes because it was still up and uh, You know what the fucking company name is the wand company like what the f like, I'm sorry, bro, but you must get a lot of disappointed fucking people coming to your site expecting to see, like, a fucking Moby Huge, and instead they get, Hey, do you want to buy my sonic screwdriver? <laughs> or those poor people that see it, think it's a sex toy, buy it, and it's like fucking... <laughs> fucking... <laughs> 
when I went to the site, I noticed that they don't make them anymore because it's been years since he was like the lead for that show. So of course, like they're not gonna ship them out anymore because yeah, it's not like a new prop or anything, right? So I had to get it used. So I was searching all over eBay and I finally found like a, an affordable price. I bought the fucking Sonic Screwdriver Universal Remote for 86 pounds. It started at like 30 pounds and it just went up and up and up. But I was like, no, fuck you, fuck you, bitters. I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking win. I'm gonna win this. That is why I'm so hype because it shipped. Like literally look at this shit, bro. Like look, look at that. Look at that. That's so cool. The difference with this one is like, it's metal. It looks pretty real. It looks like a, a real prop, you know? So it's it's really cool. And obviously it looks like a fucking dildo if you don't know what Doctor Who is, but just disregard that, okay? Look at, look at how cool this shit is. Look, okay, you ready? You ready for this? Like, look at this shit. DeVito ah? <laughs> ah? Yeah, get the fuck off. That's cool. Like look at this shit, man. Fuck you. <laughs> and like the coolest thing about this is like you don't even have to use it as a remote. Like there's an effects mode, so you can just literally just fucking run around. <laughs> I don't know, it's so sick. I think it just looks really nice on display. Like it came with this display case. Every time anyone comes over, they're just gonna think it's a fucking dildo. So I might just pair it up with my sex toy collection. You know what I mean? It, it would fit right in, literally. <laughs> okay, okay. This prop will always hold a special place in my heart and it looks so sick. So I'm, I'm gonna put it up. I'm gonna put it right here. There we go. So yeah, anyways, stay tuned guys. More videos soon. I've been able to work on a lot of projects um, the past couple months. And so yeah. More videos headed soon. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Take care and peace. Be right back, boys. About to put this in my ass.